Good morning, you beautiful creatures. How the devil are you? I hope you're okay. If you are new here, my name is Lucifer, and you have caught us on a very, very special day. Hello there. Now, you've probably noticed that I am on my phone camera, and that is because uh, I haven't put my other camera together yet. It's still charging a little bit. But today is Gareth's birthday. You can probably tell that I'm still in my nightwear. <laughs> Uh, I feel so ill. I I don't know if they're the symptoms from my second COVID jab or not, and it's just like the symptoms have only just started. They literally started a week afterwards, but yeah, my throat feels horrendous, and I've been on and off throwing up and stuff like that, so you know, hopefully today's going to be okay, but I'm literally going to go and wake him up and... Uh, give him a few of his presents. I was going to film um, Carith opening them, however, he is very tired and he's literally just woken up. Uh, so I thought I'd show you here instead. So I got him a um, Hot Fuzz t-shirt, which I am very jealous of. I literally saw it and I was like, <clears throat> who needs this more, me or him? And <laughs> I just said to him, it's okay because I can steal it, it's fine. Uh, and then we move on to the pop vinyls. As you guys know, we're avid pop vinyl collectors. So I got him the Miz in his kind of new outfit, but not really. And then the Falcon. I believe this is a special one, but I, I'm not too sure. I did want to get him the Captain America one, but they didn't have it. So I got this one instead. I know that he wants John Walker. We pretty much want all of them. I'm more of a Bucky fan so I definitely want all the Bucky ones. All the Buckies! <laughs> so I pop them back and then uh, I got him some Terry Pratchett books as well. He's kind of on a bit of a Terry Pratchett binge at the moment and I thought I would help him with his collection. So I got The Colour of Magic and I got Mort. He really likes death so I thought I'd get him that one. And now we move on to... Oh yeah, I got him this... Uh, well, I originally thought it was a wrist strap. Tis not. I put it around my wrist and, as you can see, it don't fit. So I thought he could put it around the top of his arm. He could potentially use it uh, when he's wrestling. So he can use it as a wrestling, part of his wrestling gimmick. But I also did a little spell on it to basically enchant it so it would protect him. Just because I know how prone he is to falling and being clumsy and stuff. Now you probably noticed that we, <laughs> there's some fruit shoot and there's a very good reason why there's some fruit shoot. So his um, sister's partner's son likes fruit shoot and he leaves some fruit shoot at Gareth's parents' house. Now <laughs> he actually took some of uh, his fruit shoot and he was not pleased about it so he was like you've, you've got your own now so you can stop stealing mine and bless him he also got he likes pokemon as well so um the little boy got him a battle figurine pack set so yeah absolutely love that this one's cute i don't know who it is but it's cute i'm not very up to date with my pokemon as you can tell and then he got a load of chocolate from his uh, from his grandma. So that's that's basically everything he's got so far. I have still got two presents. One from me and the friends and another one from myself but I am going to give it to him later. So now we're basically going to get ready and then we're going to head out. It's raining which is which is really rubbish but you know it is what it is great british weather woo <laughs> but i'm gonna head back to my normal camera at that point as well so the quality won't be as bad but thank you for chilling with us this morning i know he really appreciates it obviously i did all of the banner and stuff like that and his little face lit up so that was really nice so when you see me next i will be in my uh going out clothes and we will be heading out and now we are in the car. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I was going to vlog a lot sooner. However, we basically went through. Where's the place that you don't like? Longna. 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 And it's it's basically like the moors from uh, <laughs> American Wealth in London. 
and you just wanted to be careful around there didn't you so I can understand that but yeah we're 41 Our minutes away take the third exit thank you uh, we're 41 minutes away so I just thought I'd check in we're now in Chesterfield and I was going to show you you can't see the spire can you from where, from where we are we're going to drive past the spire so I just thought I'd show you also I didn't want to show you how about take the third exit to Market Road thank you also I didn't want to show you how bad the weather was because it was just like horrendous it was great it was horrible and like an exit to Market Road I hate this sound of so much <laughs> but yeah I'm when we see it I will show you the spire and then hopefully by the time I next see you In half we a mile, enter the roundabout we should be there Gareth's got an inkling well, of where we're going and I've said no you're not allowed to guess because I want to have this one the problem is okay. with are you okay yeah I just I was going to go somewhere that I wasn't meant to good fair enough um the problem is with Gareth driving so I have to put the code into the sat nav and then he kind of figures it out as we're getting closer don't you pretty much every single At time about, yeah. take the third exit pretty much every time he's figured it out and I'm fuming so I'm gonna try and learn to drive next year so next year is gonna be the year where I can keep it a secret but for now we shall look for a spire for you and show you a few sides I guess but yes we shall see you when we get there And we are here at um, Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Mm. Happy birthday. <laughs> he literally, so <laughs> from another clip, there's, there's a clip on the sat nav where it comes up and he realised where it was and I was absolutely fuming, completely fuming. Where do you want to go first? I don't know. I mean, we can do. We've never been here before. We've literally... We've never been here before. We got to the entrance and it's like a hive and all the buildings are like a honeycomb. So what I'll do is, because I just wanted to get in and like sort the tickets out and this, that and the other, um, I'll show you when we head out. But for now... I can't believe it. <laughs> It's, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So now I believe we're coming up to the... Um, sea lions. Sea lions. That's the one. Oh, I thought I saw them then. They're all rocks. <laughs> so that's a sea lion enclosure we are going to go up and like find more for you don't worry about that but like i said yeah we've never been here before usually we go to chester zoo uh we're massive fans of chester zoo but i just thought you know something a bit different uh, we've been wanting to come here for a while so i really hope you enjoy the day with us i'm gonna try and show you as much as possible and yeah let's let's have a fun day folks
so it turns out um, we've just done a little bit haven't we so we've seen a couple of hyenas they've got red pandas they've got lots of red pandas they're asleep at the moment but it's okay I'll take you guys back later because this community stands by the humble red panda we want to see your hyenas don't we yes. saw a wolf that was fun <laughs> we were all weren't we we were all waiting at the at the um at the shed for this poor wolf and like yeah it's gonna come out in it <laughs> turn the red and he's already out all these idiots just staring at this empty shack uh but yeah it turns out that's just the new section isn't it yeah from what look from what we can understand so we're going across the bridge and now i think this is the existing section so this is going to have everything out so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and film a few more animals. We are going to try and find food just because we are a bit hungry now, aren't we? We started this whole thing at about, well I was awake at six, Gareth woke up at about quarter past six because I made him. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're, we're going to go and have a look around. I'm going to film some more animals for you. Don't say I don't treat you. <laughs> And I will chat to you guys when we hit the food stall because I'm going to be hangry in T-minus 15 minutes. And now we are here. That's just, I don't know why I started that like David Attenborough. So we're at the uh, lion enclosure, which is massive. We have seen so many big puddy tats. So I don't know if you can see like over there, we are gonna walk you around, but there, there are two sleeping lions over there. And we found their uh, information board with all the lions on. And I said to Gareth on a scale, oh, which lion depicts how tired you are he said julie <laughs> and i said aries and i think that perfectly depicts how tired we are we're just saying um you like it more than chester zoo now don't you for how close the animals get to you yeah like the one we saw with the rhinos right i said yeah I, I really like it like I really like it uh, you'll probably see from previous we got really close to the rhinos my only problem is it's not themed as much as Chester is and I'm not saying that's a bad thing I think it's just because I'm so used to going to Chester that this is very different however it's nice to see that all the animals have got a lot of space and we've said I mean, the red pandas is the best red panda enclosure I've seen. Yeah, it's it's massive. It really is massive. They were sleeping, like I said before, so you might see them a little bit later. I will try my best to show you the red pandas because I know that's what you're all waiting for. <laughs> so far, so far we think it's really good. Really enjoying it so far. There's a lot. So if you are going to come here, bring your walking shoes. I did a bad and i'm wearing my boots 
only because if it rains the water's gonna slide off my boots rather than if I wore my converse they get really soaked and I just want a day where I haven't got wet feet but oh also a lot of the viewing platforms so because we're still in COVID times they are closed um, so if you do want to view the animals unfortunately you will have to do it from oh wow that's pretty that's very pretty yeah so if you do want to view the animals you will have to do it from ground level it's not a bad thing it's just if you're a photographer yeah if you're a photographer you're probably not going to get as good of pictures as you would do if you were on a viewing platform and I think that's fair to say isn't it yeah. but I imagine once things are over fingers crossed uh, it will be open up again for you guys it must be really weird watching this if you're American because I know that their Covid restrictions are a lot different aren't they to ours ours are still very regimented very tight there's a lion over there I'm going to show you the lion they're over there you can't i'm gonna move over oh here we go this is a better spot so if you can see oh you can see those two babies there they're having a snooze zoom in for you there we go that's the badger So if I like if I basically show you and then we've got some more over there as well so we've got a male and a female I believe sleeping up there but this this whole area literally this whole area is for the lions and I really love that like it's nice to see they've got so much space I think there's multiple prides as well so that's really cool it's the Yorkshire Yorkshire, Yorkshire pride <laughs> I just think that's really funny and they've got this they've got this lovely stream as well I'll zoom out a little bit And that, my lovely creatures, is the lion enclosure. So what we're going to do now, I think we're going to go and try and get some food, aren't we? Have a look. Have, Have a look. look. See if anywhere's open, because we are still here relatively early. So I officially love everything about this place. That is the best hot chocolate ever. Uh, I think I'll just show you the. So we're at the Safari Cafe. So we're at the Safari Cafe. Um, we're just here for like a little bit to eat, uh, just because we haven't eaten at all today, have we? Well, I've had a banana. And well, he's had banana. Uh, and we haven't got a dinner reservation until half seven. Yay, love that. <laughs> but we have stopped off here and I just thought I'd show you guys the menu. It does say you have to pre-book, but I think because we came here quite early that we got a space anyway. However, if you are thinking about coming, maybe later on in the day you'd have to pre-book. But like I said, I'll show you the menu. So I got the hot chocolate with everything. So I believe that is cream flake and marshmallows which i'm very excited about gareth got a tap water like he always does i'm cheap yeah you are you're a cheap date so this is a menu so these are all your hot drinks for you there we go so you can pause the video at any time to see what costs what and then on this side we've got all of our foods as well 
so they're not they're not too bad like all together it costs me 16 16 something i'm not too sure but i think if you if you're a member here you get a certain discount i would recommend that but yeah we're waiting on our food and then i will show you what the food looks like i'm very excited for it so i just thought i'd show you my food and then we got the chips as well wow <laughs> you couldn't wait could you so all together that cost me 16 pounds i did get the hot chocolate and i did get a uh, gara a tap water free anyway. it's free anyway so if you want a water i would recommend it on a really hot day i haven't tried it yet but hang on let me get a little bit oh no it's falling off <laughs> really good i've been having massive issues with like eating meat and stuff for ages the sausage sandwich is really good i would definitely recommend it but we've just seen as well that the safari shop has opened so after this we're gonna mosey on over to the safari shop and see what's in there so that was lovely um what do you think lovely really tasty very, very yeah. tasty uh, 10 out of 10 for service for the food everything also I'm really sorry if I was a bit awkward so I still have crippling anxiety when vlogging out and about yay and <laughs> we got in quite an enclosed space but we're about to go into a shop this is the safari store oh it's big hiya oh They've got red pandas. Oh no. Where is he? Look. Oh no. They're really cute. God. This one. No, these. These, these, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy them. I hope you know, as whoever, as my witness, I'm gonna buy them. They're mine. <laughs> I love it so much. I want them all. Look at him. <laughs> <clears throat> Unfortunately, I do have some of these plushies, therefore I can't buy them all, which is very upsetting. But we shall do our best. We've also got, what else have we got? We've got rhinos. We've got uh, painted dogs. We've got hyenas as well. We've got some lions for our lion lovers and that pillow. That's really pretty. Elephants, oh, we've got wolves as well. Oh, stop it. Oh, they're spoiling me today. <laughs> so, you got your wolves, you've got your pandas, you've got a big display for the polar bears. It's very cute. Sea lions. You've got your sea lions as well. But it's a it's a big big shop, isn't it? Mm. I think we came at the right time. I really do. Like it did say. So real talk for a second. It it did say on the uh on the website that tickets are sold out from opening time until three. And I was like, oh god. So I had a whole debacle with that. But we've been here for two or three hours and it doesn't feel full, does it? But at the same time, and I was thinking about this, do you think it's at reduced capacity? Potentially. So potentially at reduced capacity. So, <clears throat> you know, if you are thinking about coming here, please book your tickets really early just because if it is reduced capacity you're less likely to get a spot okay so we're moving into the kids section now 
and the sloths. The kids section and the sloths. So we've got dinosaurs, all our unicorn stuff. We've got more plushies for you. So this is more of the um, monkey, ape, and all of the above. Capybaras as well. They've got capybaras. Have they got any capybaras here? I don't think so. They don't, do they? Uh, they've got some gorillas as well. Those gorillas are really cute. But it's really nice in here. It's it's very it's very reminiscent of. Would you say it's slightly reminiscent of Twi Cross Zoo? Ish. Ish. It's a little bit like Twi, Twi Cross Zoo. I'm aware that all my camera lenses and my filming today has been atrocious. I'm so sorry about that. I will try and edit it as best as I can, but there's no saving it. <laughs> they've got a lot of they've got a lot of little little gifts as well. So you've got all of your magnets here. We really like our magnets. So more often than not, if we go to a new place, sometimes we will buy a magnet. Oh no, I'm caught on my umbrella. We will buy a magnet just to kind of commemorate that we've come to a new place. But it, it, it depends on how we're feeling. They've got keychains as well. So they've got your favorite animals as keychains. Oh, they've got a jigsaw puzzle. That'd be good for granddad. So if we come again, I might get one for him. They've got some notebooks. They've got some mugs. They've got some books as well. So if you are like a bit of a wildlife fanatic, uh, they've got face masks. And they've just got... Yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice in here. They've got some bags behind the counter as well. So I'll show you. There you go. So they've got a few little tote bags for you. But it's really lovely in here, really, really lovely. I'm probably going to spend a lot of money in here. There is another shop outside, yeah, isn't there? So I don't know if it's a case of they're going to sell the same thing there. I believe so. They, po they potentially will. Yeah, this was the original entrance. Oh, that's a point. So Gareth just said, and he's very... So that could have potentially been the original entrance but what what they're doing is that's really cute what they're doing is outside of this they've got a kind of hive complex so I think that's where the new entrance is but like I said I'll show that to you when we leave are we heading out now yeah so the situation is you've got timed slots to come in however I think once you once you leave the park, basically, I don't know if you can go back in. So that's why we're being very careful. We're going to spend pretty much all day here, and then excuse me, and then only leave at the end of the day. So we'll have to see. But we're we're pretty much we're heading towards the painted dogs and the polar bears now. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and FaceTime Mum because Mum really loves really really loves polar bears. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna FaceTime her to show her the polar bears. So I'm gonna mosey on over there and then I will show you. So see you in a sec. 